I'm over here next to my goji berry and I want to tell you a bit about them today. This is a goji berry. There is a lot of similarity between the goji berry and the wolf berry. In fact, sometimes they're used synonymously. Uh, the goji berries have some thorns on them. I got these offline. It was just cuttings and a lot of them didn't make it, but several of them did. And uh, these I started last winter. That is the winter of 2018, 2019. Planted them out here in the spring of 2019. So this is about a year old. This is the summer of 2019. 2020. They produce uh, a beautiful berry. They are in the nightshade family, so they're related to the tomato and the potato. You can't really buy goji berries fresh. Uh, you can buy them dried, but you can't really buy them fresh. Eventually, I'm told they will be very, very prolific. They are very drought resistant and drought tolerant. They don't really need a whole lot. They can uh, spread and spread and spread. In fact, uh, you see that it is kind of leaning over. A lot of people like to put them on a trellis or something uh, because when when they fall down they can root tip and uh, they can just spread and create all sorts of them here which is actually what I want I'm trying to create a line of them so what I've been doing is air layering them whenever they do fall to the ground I'll take a little bit of mulch and soil and cover up one portion of it maybe even two portions of it and create two new plants uh, that's gonna make it a little bit slower for me to have uh, food uh, for them to produce fruit because it takes a few years I think uh, from what I've been told for them to produce fruit and they often do that in around September. Whenever I'm done, uh, right here along this area, this is up close to the property line Hedgerow Food Forest. Uh, this is an Arbor Athuja Green Giant Arbor Vitae. Uh, here is a black locust and between there there is also thornless blackberries up there, red bud and a red mulberry and a, a wild plum and a nanny berry. When they are in full maturity they flower for a good long while so bees love them. There's different reports about their taste. I actually have never had a goji berry. I planted them because not because I wanted uh, you know because I love the taste of them. I've never had them. I planted them because I'd heard a lot about them and I want to grow nearly every single thing that I can on my property, especially berries because uh, these perennials that I can grow a plant once and do a little bit of maintenance and have all of this food ultimately, uh, that really appeals to me and my uh, preparedness and my survivalism because all of these things uh, that I'm starting now are going to end up producing an abundance of uh, fruit and vegetables and food for me and for the other critters on the farm, bring in a lot of wildlife. Uh, ultimately, whenever these uh, grow here, I can take cuttings off of them, very easy to make uh, take cuttings off of them and do more. In fact, uh, they've grown a lot this year. I might take some cuttings off of them this winter. The goji berries are supposed to have a lot of great health benefits for your eyes. They're anti-cancer. They're one of those superfoods. Uh, you can look online and see some of the health benefits, scientifically proven health benefits of goji berries. There are some people who have said there are some negatives and some drawbacks to them, and that's probably true. There are for a lot of foods. I wouldn't make a complete diet of them, but part of a balanced breakfast. Apparently, they taste better and sweeter if they're dried. When they're fresh, almost like a pepper they've been described as. I've never ate them. Uh, they're not usually very sweet. It's, hey, the goji berries are ripe. Let's eat them. Uh, they're more of a, you know, health food and they are a perennial and that's a beautiful thing. I really love perennials on our farm. Uh, there are some named varieties. I, I'm not sure what this is. This is a good thing for you to grow on your homestead and your farm and your uh, survival farm, your survival homestead, which is kind of what we're doing here. One of the reasons that we do the things that we do here uh, on our homestead is because we're preparing for disaster just in case. And you may think that's crazy and it may be something may never happen and that's great uh, we believe here prepare for the worst um, hope for the best uh, we do hope for the best we don't want anything negative to happen but if it does then we're gonna have all these things in years to come if you like things like this then like and subscribe hit that notification bell select all so you never miss a notification keep coming back one of the very best things you can do for us is to share our videos and show these things and let other people know these things that we're doing here so they can do some of the same things and we can inspire others to do that kind of stuff thanks for coming Oh, 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 oh,